Officers in Prince George's County tonight are looking for a stolen trailer that had about $20,000 worth of batting cage and exercise equipment inside. Someone took the trailer from an indoor batting cage facility in Capitol Heights. Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins explains what the theft will mean for, uh, for a man whose business was born out of a father's love for his son. Oh, I, we were going to a facility in Alexandria, Virginia. We didn't have anywhere to go in PG County. In 2016, Andre Hockaday bought a baseball pitching machine for his son and a trailer to transport it to parks. And kids would come out and like use the machine. So I was like, maybe this is something. In 2019, Hockaday opened on deck batting cages in Capitol Heights. The business did so well, he opened a second location this summer, just a mile away. He was renovating the first location and stored everything outside in the trailer that he once used for his son's pitching machine. But on October 8th, security camera footage captured someone driving into his business parking lot and stealing the trailer along with everything inside exercise equipment, a power rack, uh, turf. I had cage nets, L screens, baseball equipment. So just everything that I can fit into the cage was basically in there. $20,000 worth of batting cage equipment gone. I pulled in and my stomach just dropped. And I was like, oh. He says while the batting cages host the occasional date night, mostly young baseball and softball players use the business, making the loss all the more cruel. So my business is catered towards kids. Like, why are we stealing from kids? You know, um, so that's that's kind of what hurts the most. Hockaday says he won't allow this temporary setback to break his winning streak. I'm not going to let a beef stop my flow. Andre says renovations inside of this space were going quickly. He was hoping to have it opened by November, but now with the equipment stolen, he think it's going to have to happen sometime in the winter. In Capitol Heights, I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4. Hope they get the stuff back. By the way, Mr. Hockaday said because the theft didn't happen inside his business and since the trailer was not connected to his vehicle at the time, the stolen items aren't insured. He says winter is his busiest season and delaying his reopening will have an impact. He set up a fundraiser on his business website.